always happens. It's going great. Until it isn't. Well, like all good farming, I spoke too soon. We just ripped the arm off. Broke completely off the bracket. Might be asking what did it? A tree branch. Doesn't take much. Why like farmers hate having these trees right on top of the fields. Well, that's nice. Even button the cylinder. That's the expensive part. <laughs> Gotta wire it up now. Isn't that beautiful? We'll come back to this. I'll grab a pin. What the hell? Well, that was fun. What always happens? It's going great. Until it isn't. Now, did that one tree take it out? No. I'm sure it's been hit so many times that it just weakened it over time. And here we go, you know. Because I really didn't even hit that tree that hard. I just barely touched it. So now we got to fix that tomorrow. Never a dull moment. Nope. Never a dull moment with Gorman. Got one row marker. I figured I'd show you how badly bent this is. That's what it should look like. This ear got messed up. This pin, which holds the bottom base of this bracket on still, this needs to be obviously re-welded to this. This all needs to be straightened. The top part's okay, it's just right here. It needs to be flattened. And then we need to take this out and clean it up. It really just ripped it. It started to break a weld there, it tried. But it's just from hitting that tree and probably some prior abuse. But what I gotta do is pound this pin back in and grind the end off. Or grind it smooth enough so it slides back through and straighten this pin. And this is homemade. We weld that tab on there. I think this whole bracket was homemade, tell you the truth. So we'll straighten this. Well, let's get started. Alright, well, we're putting this back together. Now we tore it up. Put the cylinder back on it. This is the original one because the other one tore up and we need to get going. So we're just gonna put the old one back on for now. One of the old ones actually was okay shaped, so not such a big deal. Right here. Come on. There we go. Where's the help? Alright, let's go plant a few acres. See how this works. That was that load up seed. We're planting again. There's the truck. I don't know if you can see this terrain, but it's real hilly. It's kind of cool to farm hilly ground. A little bit of a challenge. Population amount is way off. A couple of my sensors aren't working. They're working and not working. They need to be changed. I'll change them for next year. I know they're running. I know we're running right, but it's just funny when they stop working on them. But towards the end of farm trend, it's funny when they stop working towards the end of planning. I'll sit you there for a second. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. I forgot my great GoPro mount. I didn't think I'd be, I didn't think I'd be planning. So you might go flying here in a minute. What always happens to me is the air conditioning quits working in the spring. In the fall, it works great. But when I need it, it doesn't work. So it's kind of cold today, so I'm wearing a hoodie. But it's just kind of funny. Every time I go to plant, no air conditioning. So I got to get that fixed. Oh, 
hopefully you can see pretty good. I know the windows are dirty. I know, I know. Kind of see the road marker out there working, doing a thing for us. I don't, I don't have GPS, so I'm not real fancy. Sorry. I was hoping some wildlife would come out for you. If you didn't know, we have everything from turkeys, bobcats, um, coyotes, deer, obviously deer, uh, quail. We'll see quail out here, guineas, that kind of thing. But it's a beautiful day out here farming. I'm gonna come up with a light or something that flashes. That buzzer is driving me crazy. It's too loud. It needs, it, the monitor needs a volume to adjust, and it doesn't have it. I just keep going back and forth. That's that's the fun of planting. As long as we got seed coming out, we do. So, got a couple rows that tell me planting way high, but they're not. Like I said those sensors got to go. I redid everything on that planter except the sensors and the seed tubes. So next year, seed tubes and sensors. Never fails. Right, hang on. We're going to make a turn going downhill. And I'm trying... Shut up. Shut up. I know you're not planting. I hate that one. Oh. Oh. God, I'm going to be deaf. Look at that. Come on, it. Come on, it, guys. You don't want to look back too much because then you steer away and you get all crooked. You just got to trust that that thing's working by your monitor. Look in the mirror. You got to stay seated. Make sure you line up all the time. Otherwise, you have these rows all crooked. And it's the big thing is the two plant is when you plant eight rows and another eight rows, if they don't beat up on those, it's going to be a fun time picking it. Change that beeper. 